is Amy Ritter, Scientific Editor with Biofarm International, and I'm speaking today with Gunther Yagshis, Strategic Customer Relations Lead at GE Healthcare. Uh, thank you for speaking with us today. You're most welcome. It's my pleasure. Can you tell us um, what is the significance of biosimilars in our industry on a global level? Right. I, I mean, I think that we are seeing um, a market maturing, the biopharma or biologics market. That's what we see with biosimilars. Uh, I don't think that these biosimilars are so significant for the biologics as the generics were for the a small molecule drug market where like 80% of their market share, the originator's market share was eroding very quickly. I, I wouldn't say this is going to happen um, even near uh, that order of magnitude with biosimilars. I would maybe assume that the market share will end up at 10 to 20% within the foreseeable time. Um, do you have, uh, what reasons do you have for, for thinking that? Well, biosimilars are not easily copied. Um, that's maybe the main technical reason. So if you have a small molecule like aspirin or something like that, um, um, you can today with technology that we, that everyone essentially has, uh, really make a very exact copy and then um, uh, process that into a drug, a tablet or something and, and essentially guarantee uh, through this technology that you will have an identical drug um, and you therefore get interchangeability and that will not happen as it looks with biosimilar so it's not just that easy as it was um, I think that's the main reason why I say it's going to be slow you know, even though you, you, you don't see biosimilars as having quite the dramatic effect that the introduction of generics did um, do you see that the introduction of, of the biosimilars class has changed the industry in any way? We, we have competition in um, pretty much all the areas where uh, biologics have been launched um, uh, for autoimmune disease. For, for example, I think we have six molecules, antibodies, and fusion proteins um, in the market already, all of them being originator products. And then uh, another response that is clearly visible now is that more, many of the originators, not all of them, uh, but many of them, have started their own biosimilars initiatives. So um, originator companies with their R&D machinery and experience and all the power of manufacturing that they have are uh, looking at biosimilars as an opportunity uh, to defend their franchise, but also to um, improve the success rate of their R&D with something that can generate revenue for them. Um, and um, so, you know, there are several mechanisms at work, I think, that, that will change the industry. As, uh, the competition has just gotten hotter, and, and uh, everyone is responding to that in one or the other way. Um, do you think that biosimilar developers will affect the way the industry in general develops biopharmaceuticals? Or do you think that perhaps it's just, um, you know, biosimilar can be viewed as just a biologic um, but without all yeah. the, the upfront development costs? I, I think so. I mean, uh, the latter, essentially from day one of this industry, there has been competition, and biosimilar is just a form of that competition. But the advantage is not, not as big as it was with the chemical generics, and so therefore uh, I think that uh, the arsenal of defenses and also offenses actively uh, attacking uh, tools that the originator industry has is, is pretty big to fend this off uh, and not make it a major disaster that completely reshapes the uh, biologics business. So it, it will be more a moderate uh, effect and, and um, I don't see the industry changing in any fundamental way because of it. It's just a maturation effect. Right. Well, thank you very much for speaking with us today. Most welcome.